Alright, you roll it. Yeah. Alright, that's the funnel. How you doing? Right, what is your medium, by the way? Uh, my playing instrument, well, I'm learning to play an instrument called uh, Krar. It's from uh, uh, my native country, Eritrea. And uh, I've been at it for a couple of years now. From Okay, so as you know, the month of April, um, for Phase 4, is, the theme is uh, allyship. So we're just going to ask you some uh, questions, um, you know, centered around that particular topic. Um, the first question would be, how has Phase 4 affected you as an artist? You know, your brief involvement with Phase 4, how has it affected you? It's, uh, it's opened up to a lot of crazy people. Because uh, you go to these gatherings and you kind of just meet some of the people, and, and it's, it's it's probably the most interesting gatherings I've uh, been a part of, and uh, you get to explore just so many different arts in general. And uh, I mean, it, it, there's there's no way to describe it, but it's just kind of opening opportunities to just learn things, discover things. And based on that, how do you see, I mean, from what you've seen so far, as, as they say, you know, the first impression, yeah. how do you see Face Forward, you know, changing the world around you? How do you see that organization, those group of people, that energy that you felt in that, you know, theater, you know, this past Saturday, how do you see Face Forward changing the world around you? It's, it's free, it's open, so there's no, there's no pressure when you when you come at something or somebody or a group with that approach, with the approach of you know this is this is free. You want to be part of it, you can be part of it. You don't want to be part of it, that's fine too. It's it's not there's no pressure, so it's you know it's it's easy to connect with people when there's no pressure. You know what I mean? Um, so you feel like it's more like a judgment-free song? Exactly, that's what I mean when I say free, it's just, there's no judgment. So you think the world needs a little bit more of that? The uh, world needs a lot more than that, not a little bit, a lot more than that. Uh, you wake up, you're judged, you go to work, you're judged. Uh, I mean, from the time you wake up to the time you're sleeping, you're constantly judged, no matter who you are. Right. And uh, you just, you get in this mode of, you know, consuming and buying and doing this because you're judging, because they're telling you you're not good enough, you're not this enough, you're not the right color, you're not the right age, right gender, whatever, you know what I mean? So right. there needs to be a lot more places where there's just a lot less judgment and this is one of them. How has your involvement with Face Forward impacted your views on allyship? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not, um, I don't have a clear definition for it because I feel like, I feel like um, an ally can be a dangerous thing because you can be an ally of somebody or a group without necessarily knowing what they stand for just because they're louder or just because you read a couple pamphlets here and there. And, uh, but what I got out of it is, at the end of the day, if you feel you're privileged one way or the other, it's your duty to to be an ally of somebody that's not as privileged as you. I mean, somehow, some way, doesn't matter what privilege you have, you should feel it in you to say, this person deserves that opportunity. This person doesn't necessarily need to be um, the same, whatever, the same color, the same anything, that they do need that opportunity, they do need that standard of, you know, the same privilege you have, they need an opportunity to reach that goal. All right. And so I see that as a positive, but at the same time, as, as I said earlier, you can become an ally of uh, a big group and, you know, when you're an ally of any group in general, it's hard to to know what they stand for because there's, never, there's never enough information. I mean, you can only... Like, I can only know you by asking you the questions I want to know, not by reading something somebody else wrote about you. And a lot, you know, sometimes groups can become like that, you know. You can read about groups, but then there's these fine prints that, that can affect other people that you're not necessarily aware of. So, 
good. What do you plan to do with your art? So as you know? Learn. It's uh, constantly learn. That's that's the one thing I want to do. Um, just discover new things, question a lot of things, um, collaborate. Um, I've had a, a couple of opportunities to collaborate with a couple of different uh, artists, and uh, it was great. Forward. No, not from Facebook. From some people I uh, I got in contact with through uh, open mics and stuff like that, and uh, it's been a great experience. So um, I plan on hopefully to do more. Sounds good. Thank you. All right.